Hello, once again, I would like to welcome you to the Paper Beads Princess channel. And today, I would like to show you how to use the paper bead template that we have. And uh, it's very simple, and you don't need a paper bead template to cut paper beads, but this is just to make things easier for everybody. So, your paper bead template comes in a package like this, and you will take it out from the packaging. And you will ha have four templates, four different sizes, okay? And it's just a different width. So this one is for a one inch, for a three-fourth inch bead, for a half inch bead, and this is for a quarter inch bead. So there you have four. And this is just sample beads of how your beads will turn out depending on the size of the template that you are using. So to start, I already took this out. So we're just going to use this. So this is about, I don't know, 13 inches long. Now if you have, for example, a paper that's not as long as your template, it's fine. You can still use it. You don't have to use the full length of the template. So, for example, I have this scrapbook paper that's probably about 8 inch or 7 inch square. Now, you, I would want to use this, so I will turn it and you will get the white side. This is where you want to mark to line your paper. So, I'm going to take the template and the other thing you need is pencil. It should be sharpened like to a fine point. Mine is not, but that's okay. So first, you see this tip here? It should be, let me just try and go near the camera. So like so, and this should line the edge of the of your paper. Just take your pencil, sorry, and do that. So that's your first line. It's not a perfect line. I mess up that one, but that's okay. You turn it around, and then again you would line it up like that. You can see, see, you can see, and then just. Take your pencil and draw a line, and that's your second bead. You turn the paper around. I would just line them up again. And that's your third bead. Now, you see how my lines are pointy like this? And if you don't get that pointy, uh, line it's okay for example so if when you do this and this too does not meet, meet with the previous line that you draw for example you will get something like that it's not as pointy but still it doesn't matter that would still turn out to be a nice bead and then we continue. So let's say, for example, this uh, big of a paper, you will probably get about 25 to 30 beads. So I would just then cut them. Now, I will not use the first strip of paper just because it's not a perfect triangle. And so. You can use scissors like what I'm using, or a rotary cutter, or just an exacto knife, whatever you feel like using. So this is going to be a small bead. The other thing that your kit comes with is the bamboo roller. Very important, we cannot roll our paper beads without the bamboo roller. 
So this is a re really neat thing. Now it comes with beads. Now this is just for decoration. You see it doesn't come off. But for those of you who want to use this as part of your jewelry or to incorporate in your jewelry, it's fine. I would just take scissors and cut it like that. So now you pull this like this, okay? So there are two parts to your bumble roller. Now this is this bead is just there to hold together. So uh, that's just you can use it if you want to. Now the the bumble roller has two chambers or holes on this side and on this side because they're supposed to go through the holes and lock in place like so. So now I'm going to put my strip with the wrong side facing me and the right side away from me and then I will just pull it toward the edge of your roller and then just catch it with your middle finger or your forefinger and then roll your bead. Okay. You can just continue rolling it this way or you can flip it and now, some people feel comfortable holding the roller the way I'm doing it, but uh, it depends on how you feel like holding it or how you're comfortable with holding the roller. It's entirely up to you. Now, you I did not apply glue only towards the end, okay? So now I have about, what, like two inches there. So I'll just take um, my little brush, or you can use glue stick, you can use Elmer's glue. I'm using diamond glaze because that's what I have handy, but you don't have to. Just use ordinary glue. You can even make your own glue if you like. Now I brush glue here and also on the other side. Now you will continue rolling your bead. You're almost to the finish and you're done. So now you have your bead. I will just pull it apart. You see how easy it is? You see how it came off really easy. So I will just put it on a toothpick and then brush with the glue. Okay. You're, you probably will do a better job than me. Now let it dry for five minutes, but I don't have time, so I'll just go ahead and um, just finish the whole thing. You will take your vibrance. I will just pour the vibrance here in a cup. I mean in the, the, the bottle cap and just dip it like so. See how it's milky white? And then you will just make sure that there are no excess or bubbles. And I will just take like whatever cup that you have at home and just stick it on there and just continue checking. Make sure that there are no uh, clumps. I will just run it through my finger like that. Don't worry, the vibrance is not going to harm your skin. And then just let it dry. And if you need it to be, uh, you need more, you can just, again, dip it into the vibrance after 10 or 15 minutes. 
Now, in our second video, I'll be showing you uh, using just magazines and other type of paper that you have. But before that, uh, the kit will come with the templates, it will come with the vibrance, and it will come with your bumble roller. So you just need to provide your paper, whatever paper you have lying around the house, um, cereal boxes, catalogs, magazines, brochures, menus. So in the next, on the part two, I'll be showing you how to cut a longer paper.